Hello everyone. Today's topic is fungi. Fungi belongs to kingdom Mycota. Previously, fungi was placed under kingdom Plantae as they possess cell wall just like plant cells. They are cosmopolitan in habit, means they are found everywhere in land, water, air, soil. The fungal structure is that they are filamentous, thread-like organisms where each individual filament is referred as a hyphae and together they are referred as mycelia. Only exception of which is yeast, which is unicellular and uninucleated. Fungi has a heterotropic mode of nutrition means they are heterotropic organisms which live as parasites or saprophytes. The surface upon which they grow is known as the substratum. And some have a symbiotic relationship like lichens where they are associated with algae and mycorrhizae where they are associated with roots of higher plants. Fungi has a eukaryotic cell structure in which you have a well-defined nucleus and membrane-bound organelles are present. The cell wall is made up of a fungus cellulose having chitin. The fungal mycelium is either aseptate or septate means either partition walls are present or the partition walls are absent as in this case. The aseptic mycelium is multinucleated means they possess many nuclei and this condition is known as sinocytic. While the septate mycelium have cells which are either uninucleated or binucleated. Reserve food of fungi is glycogen and the dictyosomes, that is the Golgi bodies, are represented by a single cisternae, that is they are unicisternal. Reproduction in fungi, vegetative is by fragmentation. In yeast, vegetative reproduction is by fission and budding. Asexual reproduction takes place by different kinds of spores. First are the zoospores. These are motile spores seen in aquatic fungi and they are formed inside special structures called zoosporangia. Sporangiospores, these are unicellular, non motile multinucleated spores. Formed inside the sporangium. While conidia are unicellular, uninucleated, non-motile, produced in chains from special hyphae called conidiophore, which may be unbranched branched or is swollen up in the form of a vesicle. Next are the ascospores. Ascospores are unicellular, uninucleated, non-motile spores formed inside a sac-like structure called ascus and they are eight in number. While basidiospores are formed from special cell basidium. They too are unicellular, non-motile, four in number, formed externally from the special cell called the basidium. Both ascospores and basidiospores are product of sexual reproduction. Next, the chlamydospores. These are resting spores formed under unfavorable conditions. 
in fungi like rhizopus and muca under conditions of excess sugar water and certain salts the hyphae breaks up into one cell parts which are called called as oidia they are capable of going into the new mycelium sexual reproduction in fungi can be divided into three steps plasmogamy which is fusion of protoplasm without the fusion of nuclei next is karyogamy where fusion of nuclei occurs in low fungi karyogamy immediately follows plasmogamy while in higher fungi the karyogamy occurs after a considerable length of time due to which dikaryophase is seen in the life cycle means the cells are in the binucleated condition which is known as a dikaryon karyogamy always follows is always followed by meiosis now the different ways in which plasmogamy occur in fungi are first planogametic copulation seen in aquatic fungi it is fusion of motile gametes next gametangial copulation means gap to gametangia of opposite strain fuse with each other to form the zygospore next is gametangial contact where the male gametangium is referred as anthridium and the female gametangium is referred as ascogonium when the anthridium and ascogonium come in contact with each other plasmogamy occurs next is somatogamy in somatogamy two vegetative hyphae of opposite strain when they come in contact with each other plasmogamy occurs forming dikaryotic mycelium and last is spermatization where the male cell is spermatia and the female receptive hyphae is trichogyne when the spermatia comes in contact with trichogyne plasmogamy occurs so these are the different ways in which plasmogamy occurs in fungi fungi show heterothallism means there are two types of thallus which are genetically different and compatible sexual strains heterothallism was discovered by blakesley it is just like the dioecious condition seen in higher organisms fungi is divided into four classes phycomycetes ascomycetes basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes details of these classes will continue in the next video Thank you thank you for watching